going on everyone this is some 2 bringing you guys some pgl postcom now i'm very very late on these videos so my apologies about that I, i'm not gonna lie i just got really really lazy when it came to editing these things together and so because of that you know i'm just gonna be able to i'm just gonna do postcom just so i can go ahead and catch up of course pgl at this point hasn't been the best season for us so I figured set uh, from this week for forward, I'm just gonna like go have some fun sets, some crazy sets, sets that kind of have a theme to them. So uh, we're going up against versus in the God of War Guardians. As you do see his team on the screen, uh, what he brought he brought Celebi, his Mega Sableye, his Dragonite, uh, Gastrodon, Togetic, and Porygon 2. While well, I decided just to kind of bring a really random team, I hope that he would over prep for the. Uh, rain team. Uh, I wanted to bring Como -Oh this week, and the big fun uh, thing I wanted to try and get him with was, I believe it was the ally switch uh, Psychium Z with Gardevoir. I believe after I, uh, if I do that, I, I get a plus two in speed, and it would have been fun. It would have been nice to have um, won the game with versus mascot. So uh, that was kind of the fun idea I had for it. Other things we have, we do have. Um, Pelipper and we do have uh, Tornadus in case we do need to you know have some fun with some rain We have Lycanroc of course and Dusknoir. Dusknoir was like a big huge thing for me to bring this week uh, to take care of the Dragonite But as you do see as the battle goes on that it may have made some mistakes, but let's go ahead and just jump right into it um, All in all this was a very very fun battle you guys even see when the battle took place That's how long you know I should have had this video up so my apologies on that But he's gonna go ahead and send out his nemesis who is going to be that Celebi who I was honestly shocked to see uh, Tornadus here is gonna go ahead and come in and I figured I could go for the u-turn uh, But right here you guys see that this Celebi actually goes ahead and outspeeds my uh, Tornadus and I didn't notice it at first until after this u-turn came off and hit the Celebi I got this huge hit off of u-turn, but then I was like wait did Celebi just outspeed me? There's n absolutely no way that this just happened, but I mean, sure enough, it, it honestly did. So I'm like, okay, well, that's the case. I get a free hurricane off on practically anything with um, with Pelipper. Or if I can go for, you know, Scald, Ice Beam, Hydro, you know, whatever I really want here. So he's going to go ahead and withdraw that Celebi, wanting to preserve it. He's going to go ahead and send in Galaxy, who is going to be that Porygon to that bulky, bulky, fat duck, of course. He's going to get that down low that raises his special attack, not perfect for me uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and just get this hurricane off and do we get the confusion ladies and gentlemen we absolutely do not get the confusion we never have uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and swap out here uh, right out into soul smasher uh, definitely can take off take on a lot of different uh, attacks from this thing and I can even go ahead and go for the knockoff which is what I mainly want to do for it but he instead goes for the toxic definitely not uh, what I wanted to happen considering soul smasher is literally my only answer to that Dragonite uh, so already, you know, turn three, turn four. Uh, it's not the, it's not looking the best right here. But regardless, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, you know, I'm gonna roll with it. It's I feel like I'm gonna be okay because I have pain split on this thing. There's you know quite a bit more I can do with Soul Smasher still. So he's gonna go ahead and swap out into uh, Winja, who is going to be that. Um, Mega Sableye, and I was able to land at the Toxic on it before Mega Evolution, so no magic bounce back. I originally thought that this uh, Porygon 2 would have stayed in and, you know, probably try to recover, or I had a free Toxic basically on anything. So the fact we were able to Toxic this Mega Sableye made me feel a lot better with the fact that, you know, Soul Smasher was uh, Toxic himself. So, you know, I'm like, okay, this is good. This is good. I'm going to go ahead and go right out into Sugar Plum. My main answer to this <clears throat> Mega Sableye, 100,000%. Take a little bit of Rock's damage, of course. I'm going to go ahead and trace that Prankster, just in case we might need it. And uh, Mega Sableye is going to go ahead and pop up on the field. But with that Toxic, like I said, it feels so nice to say that a Mega Sableye is toxic you rarely get to hear that, and I'm so happy with it. But he's actually going to go ahead and go for the knockoff, but we are holding that Psychium Z, so it doesn't do too much damage. But it still does quite a bit if you, because uh, it is a neutral hit. More toxic damage goes off for it, and so he's going to go ahead and uh, withdraw his Mega Sableye and go right back out into that uh, Porygon 2, which can easily eat up hits. I'm not going to want to burn my Z Crystal just yet, so I go ahead and just go straight for the Moonblast, uh, hoping... 
to get at least like, a little bit more damage off on this thing and you see that just does nothing this Porygon 2 is too much I honestly thought he would have brought the Togetic over the Porygon 2 considering they are both Eviolite users um, but however at the end of the day he ended up bringing a bringing them both which I found really really crazy so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, think that he's gonna go for the cover and get a free uh, safe swap into Wu-Tang Clan or Coma O which is exact which is exactly what happened so I'm very very happy with that uh, so from there he's gonna go ahead and send in Valkyria who is going to be that Togetic as you do see and I'm gonna go ahead and go for the Dragon Dance now this was a very very offensive dragon dancing set with poison jab that I could have used against this Togetic however if it had been a max defensive bold uh, Togetic there is no way in heck that we would have been able to uh, two shot it and on top of that take the dazzling gleam so I'm uh, predicting the dazzling gleam I went ahead and uh, so it's right out into Lycanroc, predicting that pretty perfectly if you ask me we do take a lot of damage unfortunately however this goes ahead and does Scare out that Togetic, right back out into Winja, who is going to be that Mega Sableye. Perfectly fine, perfectly, perfectly fine. We're going to go ahead and get a Stone Edge off, and that's one Stone Edge, baby. And look how much damage that does with the Toxic Damage. Ooh, it feels so good to land a Stone Edge. Uh, so I figured I have nothing to lose. He's going to go for the Sucker Punch, though. Uh, get a little bit more damage off on us i'm, I'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna land a second stone edge in a row which it feels so good so that mega sableye one of the biggest bulks on his team is down and he goes right out into nemesis now that's celebi who is choice scarf uh not wanting to do any uh definitely realizing that they was i know a good answer for that togetic i'm gonna go ahead and swap right back into uh tornadus not thinking anything of it we do take rocks damage but he is going to go for the psychic i am a salt vest here so we do it this hit fairly well if you ask me as you guys do see but he's gonna go ahead and go for the damage once again just trying to wear down our tornadoes and you see that was a high roll there for that um for that psychic but i'm just gonna go straight for the knockoff thinking he might want to switch out and save this thing probably get a knockoff on something but nope that uh, celebi just goes ahead and goes right down and we do see it was choice scarf as as we thought so uh dragonite now comes in oh boy this thing oh boy this thing all right, so here we go. Tornadus goes out here. In comes Soul Smasher, my main answer to this Dragonite. Yes, I'm poisoned, but you know, we can still eat up a little bit of hits with this thing. Try and toxic it. Uh, try and toxic this Dragonite as well. Uh, try and wear it down, but he does go straight for the Dragon Dance. And at this point, uh, with toxic damage racking it up, it's going to be very, very hard for me to take this uh, Dragonite down. I wish I would have had Stealth Rocks up or some kind of... Yeah, mainly Stealth Rocks just to break that multi-scale because it would have been so much better for us with Lycan Rock for sure with uh, Cell Rock potentially. Uh, so he's actually going to go ahead and swap right out, S surprisingly. I'm actually quite shocked. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and try and get this Toxic off. If I'm not mistaken, that is what I went for. Oh, we go for Pain Split. That's right. I figured I could live one big hit, go for Pain Split, break the multi-scale. So we almost get back up to full here, which we do, but then we take the poison damage. So all in all, it wasn't a bad play. It's just he ended up swapping out surprisingly, and I was I was quite shocked. I figured that with him seeing that I had Toxic, he figured I wouldn't have uh, Will-O-Wisp and would have just gone for the attack. So he does show the Shadow Ball here in the Porygon too, though, which is very very crazy. I'm like, okay, you know what? This thing it needs to die now. Uh, let's go for the Toxic, a nice and easy uh, Toxic here for this Porygon to start to wear it down, but. More and more now we are taking huge, huge damage. Soul Smasher was not meant to take a Shadow Ball from a Porygon 2. It is more so physically defensive, if not max physically defensive, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so that Poison Damage, as you see, just racks up so, so much. And that it was that moment right there once that Shadow Ball went off that things really started to go downhill. So Wu-Tang can't... Wu-Tang Clan comes in once again to take on this Porygon 2. It's a pretty safe switch because I think he might go for another recover. And he goes straight for the Thunderbolt. And I'm just praying right now that I don't get paralyzed here. Uh, which we don't. Well, actually, no, we do. <laughs> Man, I forgot this match win. But I am holding the Lumberry. I was the Dragon Dance Lumberry. So our Lumberry is burned, which is very, very unfortunate because I could have easily Dragon Dance on this thing once again. Uh, so, say la vie, what more are you gonna do? At least we aren't paralyzed now. He's gonna go straight out into Valkyria, who is going to be that uh, Togekiss. Uh, pr predicting that the easiest switch ever, I'm gonna go ahead and go for that poison jab. See if I can poison this thing. 
which I honestly do. I'm quite surprised. I'm toxicing everything. Everything has a toxic or poison on it. So uh, I, call, I made a really nice read. I like that. And uh, from that damage, I actually realized it wasn't fully physically defensive, which could have made such a big difference uh, moving earlier if I would have just gone for the uh, poison jab earlier. So Soul Smasher honestly can't do much anymore. So I figured, you know, I'm just going to sack it off, get an easy switch into something else. So... Down goes Soul Smasher, my only true victory for taking on this Dragonite, which is unfortunate. Uh, and I'm going to go right out into Thea. Thea can go ahead and just Stone Edge this thing to Oblivion, if not even a Cell Rock. We do take Brock damage. We live on one of all things, which is super, super crazy. He's going to go ahead and withdraw. He's going to go out into Chiapis, who is going to be that Gastrodon, surprisingly. So we're going to go ahead and land a Stone Edge. We land three stone edges, ladies and gentlemen. That's absolutely crazy. I have nothing to lose here. I'm going to go for another stone edge just to see what happens. We land two, we've land we landed four out of ten stone edges, and we're going to go down to Scald. Here, I should have kept Thea, honestly. Regardless if the Dragonite had extreme speed or not, it still would have been a wonderful way to try and handle that Dragonite later on. But at this point, there's really nothing much more I can do except uh, try and get the differential down as low as I can for this battle. Um, as I do have a uh, whole Grass Knot on this thing, which he does have the, I think it was the Wakan Berry for Grass type moves. The Rindo Berry. I can never remember the berries. Uh, but the Rindo Berry doesn't, isn't able to do enough because we landed those two stone edges. And down goes the Gastrodon. And once again, here is this Dragon Knight. Praying that it doesn't go ahead and just extreme speed me, which it end up does. I hoped I, I was just going to try and go for the knockoff, see if it wants to go ahead and knock me out. But nope, extreme speed does come off, and there's not much more I can do. Nexus comes in. He's going to go ahead and set up the rain. I do have Ice Beam, but I believe it is just... It's not enough for Nexus uh, to eat up a hit from a Dragonite. I mean, come on. It's, an, it's a Dragonite. There's really not much that we can do. So he's going to go ahead and withdraw. Not wanting to take an Ice Beam of any kind. He's going to go ahead and send in Galaxy for this stupid Porygon 2. <laughs> who is just going to sit on the field regardless of anything that we can do with Pelipper. We're going to go for a Hurricane. And do we get the confusion this time, ladies and gentlemen? We do not. We absolutely do not, which is very unfortunate. So once again, Hurricane does not come through for us. But we're going to go ahead and get another Hurricane off with the Toxic Damage we... Do not get the kill, unfortunately. It was a low roll on our part. If we have, would have gotten the confusion, there could have been a chance for us. However, uh, Nexus does go down and believe that goes ahead and gives the victory to Versus after this, if I'm not mistaken. Or do I have one more Mon? I do have Wu-Tang Clan, that's right. Uh, but, you know, that Porygon 2 is down. You know, all it has to do is uh, send out that Dragonite, of course. There could have been some shenanigans here. Uh, there were still some ways to work around it. So we both go for the Dragon Dance here, which I thought was pretty hysterical. He wants to go ahead and guarantee that uh, things are out, uh, things outspeed each other. But uh, wait, we yeah. And I realized that I outsped his Dragonite. Uh, which I thought was really, really cool. So uh, at this point with the multi-scale, there was no way I could have uh, knocked him out from full. So I decided to risk it, though it was a roll. Um, I went for the Dragon Colossi and what we could do, uh, but as we do see, he's not messing around. He has the Dragonium Z for us to end the battle off. What a wonderful play. That multi-scale comes in mm, oh so wonderfully well for him. Uh, he debated whether or not he should have gone for the Dragon Dance as well uh, for the next turn. But if he would have gone for the dra Dragon Dance the second turn, I think I would have been able to not come out. And the game might have been ours. I'm not 100% sure with the Calcs. But the Devastating Drake goes off, Wu-Tang Clan goes down, and unfortunately we suffer a defeat to the Guard of our Guardians. But still, it was a uh, fun game. Uh, Sugar Plum comes in. I keep forgetting if, if I'm out of moms, moms or not, but at this point it honestly does not It does not matter. This thing's at plus one. Dragonite is too powerful. Uh, so Extreme Speed comes off, we go down. Yeah, like I said, it was a fun game. The rest of the season, you know, I'm just going to try and have fun with it all. Uh, I will say there is one battle that is coming up very, very soon where I did rage a bit in the match, which I'll get into when we get to it. 
but nonetheless, you know, Salt Lake City Swampers continue on with their very difficult PGL season. But if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like down below as I'm trying to get these PGL videos out to you for the remaining couple weeks. Uh, week 11 should be coming up the, this weekend. And then from there, uh, the final week, week 12, should be going up next week. So definitely be looking forward to that. But I'm going to get up out of here. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. My name is Sumber the Two, and I'll see you in the next one.